welcome on this video tutorial here I am going to discuss how to design electronic circuit using Proteus software Proteus is a widely used software tool for electronic design automation especially focusing on circuit simulation and printed circuit board design it is developed by lab center electronics a UK based company we can design circuit using graphical user interface and then simulate their behavior under various conditions. These features helps us to test and verify design before building physical prototypes, saving time and resources. It can simulate both analog and digital circuits within the same environment. Proteus includes a feature called virtual prototyping, which allows us to simulate the interaction between embedded software and the target microcontroller hardware. This enables us to debug and test firmware code in a simulated environment before deploying it onto actual hardware. Proteus offers tools for designing PCB layout also. Proteus comes with a comprehensive library of electronic components including resistors, capacitors, integrated circuits, microcontrollers, sensors and more. We can also create custom components or import libraries from third party source also. Now entering into actual circuit designing. This is a shortcut for Proteus 8 Professional. I am running this Proteus software. After running this is the first window. For creating new project, clicking on this new project. I am going to design a circuit which will produce the square wave. So. Say I am providing the name of the project as square wave. I need to select the folder where I want to create this project. I have selected this folder. Now next I am selecting this one. Create a schematic from the selected template. Default next. I don't want to create the PCB layout at present. So next. Next. Finish. So this is the working area where I will design our circuit. This is a circuit for design a square wave. Say I am going to design this circuit. We set the components here. I need 741 IC op amp. I need one port, one capacitor, two resistors and positive and negative supply voltage. In Proteus working area, first I need to click on this P. When I will click on this P, pick device window will open. Now clicking on this P. For selecting components, I can search it here. In this keywords, there is the searching area. So I need 741, so I am typing 741. Say these are all the components related to 741. Double clicking on this 741. This 741 is included into the component list. Next, I need resistors. So, I am typing here RES. These are different resistors. I am taking the very basic resistor RES, double clicking on this RES. So, the resistor is included in the list. Next, I need capacitor. I typed CAP. These are all the different types of capacitor. I am double clicking on this CAP. So this capacitor is included in the component list. I need one port. So I am typing here port. These are the different port. I am selecting port hyphen AG. This is active. And this port have the facility to change when the circuit is under simulation. So taking port AG. So all the components I have taken, all the components which are required to design this square wave circuit already have taken into the component list. So I am closing this big devices window. Now I need to take these components one by one to design the circuit. First I am taking the 741. For that clicking on the 741, taking the cursor here and Clicking, so this is 741. This is my circuit. 
so on part and capacitor are connected in series so taking this part this is the part next one capacitor is here taking the capacitor i need to rotate this capacitor so mouse right click on this capacitor and select rotate clockwise connecting this part with this capacitor i am going to design the exact type of this circuit here the 741 inverting terminal is at the top and non inverting terminal is at bottom so here i need to rotate this 741 i am rotating this 741 by using this i mirror tool see inverting terminal is now at the top and non inverting terminal is now at bottom inverting terminal will be connected at the middle of this port and capacitor the port is connected to the output terminal so connecting this at output terminal two resistors r2 and r3 connected in series so connecting two resistor this is resistor 1 i am rotating this taking another resistor i am rotating this connecting these two resistors from the output from the middle of this resistor non inverting terminal of op amp will be connected port terminal will be connected from here next i need power supply and ground for power supply i am taking dc power supply from the generators another dc power supply is here now for number terminal this will be this is connected with this dc power supply 7 will be connected with this dc power supply i need to put the exact value for number terminal number 4 will be connected with negative power supply so i am putting here minus 15 volt this will be connected with positive power supply i am putting here plus 15 volt next i need to connect ground so i am taking ground from this terminals this is ground taking same ground for here connecting this ground i am changing the value of this spot so clicking here say i am selecting it as 10k pot changing the value of capacitance say i am taking i am selecting it as 1 microfarad the value of this capacitor and the resistor will ultimately change the frequency of the output now the circuit is completed to see the output i need to connect the oscilloscope so taking oscilloscope from this instruments block this oscilloscope taking this oscilloscope here connecting the oscilloscope i have to see the output at channel a of this oscilloscope now circuit is completed 
and to see the output to see the output running the simulation this this is the button to run the simulation so running it this is output in oscilloscope what is here these are different knobs for channel a this is channel b channel c and channel d these knobs are for changing voltage per division this knob is for selecting the or changing the time per division so in channel on say i am getting the output if i change the time per division i can see more cycle on the screen so i am getting the perfect output i can increase or decrease the frequency of output by changing the value of r and c here say i am increasing the value of resistance r say the frequency is decreasing if i decrease the value of the resistance the frequency is increasing these are plus or minus button by clicking on plus button i can increase the value of resistance by clicking the minus button i can decrease the value of resistance here i can see the percentage so i got the perfect result in next tutorial i'll design another